everybody? <laughs> My name is Grace, nice to meet you! Today I am back with another video and I know this is kind of a weird setting, it's like white and I've got this like chair. Today I am in a beach house, I'm not in my regular house, but that's okay. So today I am doing a video on traveling, which I've never done before. It's going to be in like travel, hair, makeup, outfit, carry-on essentials, all that sort of stuff jam-packed into one video for you guys today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also take the time to subscribe if you're not already. And without further ado, let's go ahead Let's go ahead and get into the video. Starting off with the makeup, I first applied my moisturizer. This one's by Neutrogena and I love it. And then I went into my primer to keep my face makeup lasting a long time. For my actual face makeup, I just went in with a BB cream because these are super, super light on your skin. They don't feel heavy like a foundation. Plus they have SPF in it. So just to cover up a little bit more, I used my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and applied that underneath my eyes and around my nose. After I blended that out, I went in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder to set that all. And then I filled in my eyebrows because I can't go anywhere without filling them in. So I just used this NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder and applied some lip balm onto my lips. Okay, so because I don't really like to wear eyeshadow on the airplane, because I think it's a little bit of a hassle, I just applied my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, all of my lids, and then lined them with this really natural brown eyeliner. And then I just curled my eyelashes and applied my favorite CoverGirl mascara. For my cheeks, I applied this cheek stain by Tarte. I think it looks super natural on when you blend it, so I love it. And then I applied a Baby Lips onto my lips just for a little bit of color. And that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I think it's super quick and easy to do, so when you're traveling, it's perfect. Crying, crying. So I think that this hairstyle is super, super easy, but I also think it's really cute. So I began by putting some dry shampoo throughout my roots and brushing out my hair. Do you recall not long ago? I created a middle part in my hair and then split it in half to begin braiding both of the sides. I've actually been doing this a lot recently because it's really cute. I think it, personally I like it better than just like a regular side braid. All around, the wind blows, we would only hold. I braided my hair all the way down and then tied it off with an elastic and of course did the exact same thing on the other side. So that is the finished hairstyle. You can make it a little bit more messy if you want to. I didn't just because I knew it would get messy eventually. But I think this is a great way to get your hair out of your face when you're traveling. As for my carry-on essentials, of course I need a ginormous backpack. So that's what I got. And then I like to bring all of my electronics with me just so they can... I don't know, be next to me, I guess, so I can use them. So I brought my computer and my iPad and my phone and my Polaroid and all that kind of stuff so I can survive the plane. <laughs> you also need to remember to bring the things that you need for those electronics. So I brought my film and my chargers. I also brought a book just in case. I've been reading this one recently and my headphones because... I don't know, you'd hate to forget them and then just be stuck with all these crying children. So yeah. I also brought my YouTube notebook just to jot down any ideas and of course food, that is a necessity. So I brought a cliff bar and of course candy, Sour Patch Kids are my favorite. I like to bring my brush with me on my carry-on cause I don't know, you never know when you're gonna need it. So you need that and of course a hair tie. I always bring my makeup and my brushes with me in my backpack just so they don't get jumbled around and broken in my actual suitcase. So I packed all of that stuff up in my makeup bags and brought all of my liquids that were 3 ounces or under in a quart size bag and gum but all I had was mints so we're just going to go with it. And of course my sunglasses because it's summertime and I need them. <laughs> As for my airplane outfit, I like to always wear some kind of a romper or something because I think they're really quick to throw on. This one that I have on is from Air Apostle, and for my shoes, I like to wear something bigger that I don't have to pack in my suitcase, so either Vans or Converse. 
I know we tend to get cold on the airplane, so instead of a blanket, I brought this sweater from Brandy Melville. It's really, really soft and comfortable. I wanted to quickly tell you guys that I made a vlog channel and a lot of you guys have already subscribed so thank you, I love you, but if you haven't, you should totally go and subscribe. If you want to watch my first vlog then you can go ahead and click the screen or I will have a link in the description box to the actual channel. So yeah, I just want to tell you guys that quick update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you to the moon and back and I will talk to you in my next video. Adios, my people love the internet. Okay. <laughs>